around some spring like rain showers coming our way. Well, we have our Valley Inventors. We've been showing you people that have made uh, inventions that help you hang up your clothes in the backseat of your car, uh, maybe help you cook on your grill, all kind of uh, innovative ideas. Well, now we have a creative idea with a wonderful backstory as well. I'd like to welcome George. He's here from Hubbard, Ohio, George Roods. And uh, George, tell us about the new Jesus <clears throat> fish that you invented. Well, the new Jesus fish came to me in a dream three years ago. Okay, tell me about your dream. Well, um, in my dream, uh, um, this boy was walking, I was walking along in the beach. Okay. Yeah, I went to Brazil, originally from Brazil in uh, South America. Okay. And um, the, the boy was drawing this image in a, in a dream, and I asked the boy what he was drawing because just the night before, I asked God to help me and um, so, so. Did the boy tell you what, what it was? Yes, the, the, the boy actually told me. What well, now, the, now the Jesus fish uh, originally is just a, it would be just the metal, just a fish. Yes. Basically, Jesus said that he, he will make you fishers of men, he mm -hmm. told the apostles. So the fish is a symbol of Jesus. How is your new Jesus fish? Can you tell us what the, this depicts for us? Yes, uh, the heart represent uh, love in your life. Love and, in your life. And then the seven represent every day of the week and then the cross represents Jesus Christ. So if you live through love every day of the week you have Christ in your life. And to different people it means differently like love's completion, sacrifice, etc. And I made a couple of them and everyone seems to like it. So this actually the idea of this came into your in, as a dream. Now you yes. said the little boy you think was Actually, you as a little boy. Yes, it was. It so was. you think that God basically gave you this gift because yeah. you prayed and said, hey, help me out. Uh, now, you're out of work right now currently, right? You work no, right? actually, I just got employed to my boss. Uh, he hired me back. Oh, outstanding. <laughs> Fantastic. So basically, uh, you just got recently got a patent for this. You said that a lot of people are interested in it. What are you going to put this on? Are you well, going to just make uh, iron rot decorations for well, the house there's, or what? Well, there's a... So many different, there's like unlimited options. It can go into jewelry, it can go into like coffee mugs, t shirts, etc., bumper sticker magnets. You know, uh -huh. uh, it just, the options are unlimited. Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, once again, uh, show what, what, what the, now this is the heart. This is the number seven here. Yes. Some people might not be able to see. Uh, and then this is the cross, kind of a sideway cross. Yes. When you woke up that morning, did you scribble it down real quick? Yeah, I did. Did you it. know what you were drawing? Yeah. Well, I, yeah, because it, it just imprinted in my mind so so rich. I, like I knew exactly what I was drawing, and so when I looked at it, I visualized, you know, like, hey, you know, this is a new Jesus fish, and and then immediately I got the message, and I uh, finally, you know, decided I wrote, that you had something here. Yes. All right, George is going to be with us next hour. We're going to talk more about this because you also wanted to do some good with this idea as well, yes. not just profit yourself personally, wants to help other people out as well yes. and bring the message. Right now, we're going to bring a message over to Len Rome. He's going to tell us about some business news. Len? Oh, thank you, Jimmy. Yes, uh, time for a look. Inventors, we've had them all on and some fantastic ideas and some wonderful imaginative ideas and inventions that can help people with their everyday lives. How about one that's creative, that's inspiring? That's why we wanted to bring on George. We, we sent, uh, you sent us an email, George, uh, of the picture of the new Jesus fish. We were, well, we were really intrigued. We wanted to find out what the symbolism meant. George is uh, joining us from Hubbard, Ohio. George Roods, tell us about the new Jesus fish. Well, the new Jesus fish came to me in a dream, mm -hmm. and uh, the boy was drawing this image on the sand. It was actually me, seven years old. Uh, my background is um, I was adopted from Brazil, okay. and I've been here 23 years. And in the dream, the boy drew this image on the sand, and because uh, the day before, I asked God to help me, what I can use my talent for, and that's what. Tell us about your talent. My talent is um, I do a lot of digital arts, and I do a lot of drawing, and my 
Uh, I'm a certified welder. I was going to say, you had to probably, either you paid someone to, to take your design. So you actually welded this yourself? Yes, did the yes, weld I work? did. Uh, so you, you're creative to begin with. Yes. So it's not like there are some people saying, I'm not creative at all. Why can't I have a great dream? You had a great dream, but you're a creative mind to yes. begin with. Tell us what the symbolism means on the fish. Well, the symbol is uh, the heart, sideways heart, represent love in our lives. Mm -hmm. And then the seven represent every day of the week. And then we'd be like Christ. The if cross you have, right here. The, the, yeah, the cross mm -hmm. is uh, Jesus Christ. So if you have lived through love every day of the week, you have Christ in your life because Christ is love. Okay, now you just recently uh, had this patented, I understand. Yes. And pat trademarked. Yes. yes okay, what's going to be next? Well, next is going to be launching it out, and uh, any uh, I'm going to uh, donate uh, about 7% towards orphans because I'm originally from Brazil, and growing up in the orphanage was very hard. Right. And I want to help those kids down there, and like also help uh, Chile with the earthquakes, and uh, also Haiti with the earthquakes. That's my, right. my 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 passion is to help people. Okay, so uh, we're going to see this on jewelry. We're jewelry. going to see this on bumper stickers. We're going to see this on T-shirts, mugs. And you got a website that's going to be launching in about 30 days. Yes, it's going to be called Inspired Visions because this is where it originally came from. Inspired it's Visions. Yeah. And folks uh, that are watching Daybreak this morning, if you want to find out more about it, when that does go online, just send us an email here to the TV station at daybreak at WITV.com. People have been interested in finding out more about it. People, uh, wh what do you think is going to be the most, uh, the biggest seller with jewelry. this product? Jewelry. Is religious jewelry? Yes. Okay. And? And magnets. And magnets for yeah. the cars. Yes. Outstanding, fantastic. Now, you said there was an alternate uh, uh, meaning of it too, uh, that, that other people, like you said, people have different opinions. Well, of yeah, because the, the wearers, and if they wear the jewelry, they're going to have their own message that God is going to speak to their heart, and it's going to inspire them. Each person is going to be different. But to me, this is what it means to me. You know, living through love every day of the week, you have Christ in your life. But to some people, it might be completely different and it's going to inspire them in a totally different way, which is going to help them out in the long run. All right. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thanks for your inspiring story. And Thank we look you. forward to the website going on. And when you see this all over, well, the world, you'll know that it came from a guy that lives up the street in Hubbard in Trumbull County. George, thank you so much again Thank for joining us. Len, what do you think? The very new nice. Jesus fish, fantastic. And uh, right now we're going to send it back over to Len. He has some technology information for uh, us, Len. Thank you, Jim. Let's bring you up to date on technology news and trends.